What's up guys, Jesse and Melissa here coming at you with another video and in this video we're going to be talking to you about why we love our new travel trailer and why we believe it's better than a fifth wheel. Somehow I hit the roof on something and I'm just noticing it right now, right before we're about to roll out. Before we get started, we just want to remind you that we do have channel memberships available, so click that join button down below. Also, we have a link in the description for more information. Little introduction, we have been on the road for full time for three years. We have had a mid profile, Keystone Cougar. We've had a full profile Keystone Carbon Toy Hauler. And now, well, and we had a Nash travel trailer, 17 foot tiny little travel trailer. And now we have a 30 foot travel trailer. So in the towable world, we have a lot of experience. And we're gonna start off by talking about one of the biggest cons of a fifth wheel and why we love a travel trailer. It's, it's this. That overhead clearance, so, terrible. We primarily boondock and we've had so many issues with trees being a huge factor, not being able to get to a spot. You're gonna have to go slow because we're gonna hit our ACs with this big branch that I can't break. Or just being stressful, like you don't want to get a tear. Those roofs are not designed to be rubbed on at all. They'll tear and then you have to replace the whole roof. Roads like this are super, super stressful. They give you a bunch of anxiety. You don't want to damage your house. You can patch it, but it's not desirable. So the overhead clearance has been a fail for us many, many times. And then not only when you're driving down city streets, you gotta keep in mind that you're the size of a semi if you have a full profile fifth wheel. So you gotta look out for trees, you gotta look out for bridges, just anything that is high and it just adds a lot of stress. Another major downside of a fifth wheel is that you lose your entire storage space in the bed of your truck. You know, you could get one of those little toolboxes towards the very, very front we did do that. It gave us a little bit more storage space back, but otherwise you are losing that entire use of your truck bed every time you have your fifth wheel hitched up. That is a killer space. Like now we have a really nice camper shell with exterior boxes, plus all the interior room and it's money. There's so much space in there. I do know that fifth wheels have a little bit bigger of an underbelly, but to be honest, this trailer has a huge underbelly, so it's not a big difference. Yeah, we've got a lot of exterior storage on the underbelly on this trailer, and we have a full use of our truck bed back again, which we absolutely love. It's like a full garage situation in there, and we're stoked on it. One more thing for us in the future, you guys know we love off-roading, overlanding. We eventually would love to get some sort of camper in the bed of the truck as additional option to where we could store our trailer somewhere at a storage yard, campground, whatever. And then we could have like a pop top four wheel camper type camper and be able to take just the truck and the Jeep and have, you know, a toilet, a sink, a heater, and a nice dry place to stay where we could do maybe a week or two style trips. If you have a fifth wheel, you can't do that because you're gonna have to go to a storage yard to pick up your camper, to put it in the bed of your truck, and it's just a headache. So we could literally have that camper on the truck full time and tow our travel trailer, which to us is gonna be a huge perk in the future. We also believe that travel trailers are better for accessing boondocking spots and overall clearance. So let me paint you a picture. We have found ourselves in many situations where we had our fifth wheel, we were trying to get it into a boondocking spot. You know, the roads can be unpredictable depending on where you are, what the weather's been like. And you know, it they definitely do this a little bit. Like anytime yeah. you're going over like a little bump and our truck was only lifted one inch in the rear. It is only lifted one inch. And we made contact with our bed rails with the fifth wheel multiple times. Multiple times we'd be turning to go into a spot and the fifth wheel would just contact and kind of ruin the trailer up on the underside, which was very unfortunate. And then on top of that, think about you're trying to pull into a spot and then now you're worried about your overhead because maybe there's some trees or whatever. So now you got trees plus the fifth wheel contacting. It's just a lot simpler in a travel trailer. Yeah, the overhead clearance, the lack of having to worry about that bed rail clearance, like it's just so much better for getting into boondocking spots. All right, so one of the things we heard when we first started and it kind of swayed us into getting a fifth wheel, <laughs> 
was, oh, fifth wheel is just tow so much better in the wind. And I would say that they do, but there's a few caveats with that and I feel like it's not always addressed. So the main thing is you need to have a truck that can tow your travel trailer. So we had the little Nash, it was a 17 foot and we have a Ram 2500 diesel. Literally, you couldn't tell it was back there any scenario. <laughs> Melissa drove it all the way across country. We had high winds, we had rains, we had everything. Because we were over trucked, we didn't have an issue. No weight distribution hitch. Now, we have this 30 foot travel trailer. It's definitely bigger. We still have our Ram 2500. We've been towing it with no weight distribution hitch. We do plan on getting one just for a little bit added safety, mm -hmm. but this trailer technically is a half ton towable, this 2910 BH. So yeah, you could tow it with a 1500 Silverado or 1500 Ram, but it's gonna get sketchy. So get the right truck, get a weight distribution hitch for added safety, you will be totally fine. Nobody talks about this, they just say fifth wheel's better. And then it's just like, end of discussion, which I disagree, you've been towing both. What are your thoughts? Honestly, like I only towed our fifth wheel a few times and I was way more nervous um, every time I did. Like I'm proud of myself for doing it, but it was sketchy. I am glad that I started with a small travel trailer to get used to the idea of it and get comfortable with it. And now we've graduated to this bigger one. So I just feel totally comfortable towing this thing now. You do notice a little bit of sway in the back. I can't feel it in the truck and I only can see it in the rear view mirror. So one yeah. thing that will be fixed with the weight distribution hitch exactly but overall it's just so much better you don't have to worry about that overhead clearance that is seriously such a huge thing like we can drive through almost any town yeah. and down almost any road and it's not a problem and so that's like actually a perfect segue too is the weight so we have a ram 2500 our first fifth wheel was fine the carbon really was maxing us out and we didn't like that and to buy a new truck be like oh i'll buy a dually like you know, this day and age, A, it's hard to get trucks with all the shortages and stuff. And then B, like that's a lot of money, you know, sixty, seventy thousand dollars for a dually. Mm -hmm. So when our truck was already paid off. Yeah, our truck's paid off. Yeah. So the weight is definitely an issue to consider. So you're gonna be getting a bigger trailer, you're gonna need a bigger truck. Um, and then on top of that, when that big truck, especially if you have a dually, is unloaded, you know, you don't have the, the space in your bed. So that's one thing we already talked about. And on top of that, they tend to drive very rough, like a dump truck, because it's set up for having weight in the bed. So you're going through speed speed bumps, you're going through different areas, it's very stiff, it's not comfortable, and now you have a dually as your daily driver. So go get groceries, go in your dually, like that's, you know, and most likely a long bed, because if you get a fifth wheel, most people do a long bed dually. It's totally doable, but it's inconvenient at the same time. So that's actually a great segue into the next point, which is overall cost. You know, like you just said, you're gonna need a bigger truck, getting a dually, a diesel truck, like you're gonna need a truck that is going to be able to, po to pull that fifth wheel. Safely. Exactly, that's a huge deal. And it's gonna cost you a lot more money to get a truck like that. And the fifth wheel itself is gonna be way more costly yes. than a travel trailer would be too. Just the sheer size of them, you know, it's, it's a, a whole thing. Makes a lot of sense to go with a travel trailer. Cents, dollars and cents. All right, so those were kind of our major points. A couple little things that we've noticed that we really like is, it seems like a travel trailer is easier to heat and cool because obviously the high ceilings, you know, it just takes time to create that heat, 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 or to bring the temperature down. And we're talking like, you know, our fifth wheel did have two ACs. This only has one, but it's smaller. So overall in general, it just seems like the travel trailers without the high ceiling, um, you know, which could be a pro for a travel trailer, I mean, for a fifth wheel. But anyways, you get the point. It's easier to heat and cool. Another thing that we really like about the interior space of a travel trailer is that there aren't stairs to go up and down into the bedroom or bathroom area. Most fifth wheels are gonna have that. I mean, every single one of them yeah. would actually, yeah. would have stairs in a fifth wheel, usually to get into the bedroom. And we didn't like that. It kind of got annoying, especially like if you needed to go get water in the middle of the night or go down into the living room or kitchen for any reason. Yeah. Um, or if you have an old dog that like sleeps in the living room and then barks in the middle of the night because he wants to come up in there. You and... can't get up the stairs and you have to get out of bed and come help him. And it just feels like the flow is a lot better in our travel trailer now when we just 
flow right into the living room. I don't know, it's just something we never really thought about. You're just like, oh, we got a fifth wheel, it has stairs. You know, it's fine. I mean, we're young and agile, mm -hmm. and that's another thing too, is if you're older, you might consider a travel trailer, because yeah. it's just your couple steps coming in, and then you're in. So, mm -hmm. just some pros and cons, kind of, sort of, but basically we're telling you guys why we chose a travel trailer, why we love a travel trailer, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of questions, probably a lot of hate, hopefully not too bad, <laughs> but we've had both. We've done it for three years. Um, we've been in all sorts of scenarios. We've gone across the whole country. We've done boondocking, we've done campgrounds. We've literally done it all in the towable world, so we feel like we have a good perspective. Anything else you'd like to add? Just if you have any other questions or anything you want to ask us specifically, like we're happy to do more videos on this topic, like pros and cons of each, like lay them all out. You know, we're more than, than happy to take care of that for you. So and and like always, thanks so much for watching, guys. How's it looking up there? Not good. There's a lot of trees. This might have been a very bad choice. Don't do this, people. <laughs> <laughs>